in our today's topic we will going to discuss about a new missile that has been tested by the drdo which is also called the defense research and the development organization and these missiles will going to replace the older short range ballistic missiles india is testing number of missiles in recent days in mission mode india tested so many state of art excellent missiles that boost the confidence of india's ability to produce exquisitely powerful missiles indigenously hi my name is tuhin kumar pal and welcome to the power academy in our next slides we will going to talk about the missiles that india has tested in 2021 india already tested the brahmos supersonic cruise missile with speed mac 223 and the range is 290 km brahmos is developed by the india and the russia brahmos's range is 290 km because at the time when the brahmos was developed india was not the member of the mtcr group so that is why they have to reduce the range of the missiles lesser than 300 km and india has also tested the long range supersonic assisted torpedo the fourth generation helena missiles which call the sant or the stand of anti tank guided missile india has also tested the ugni prime missile with 2000 km of range according to some expert it is also an anti ship missile india is also working on the brahmos 2 speed more than mac 5 and whose range will be 600 km which is a supersonic missile there are more indian defense organizations like the drdo is working on so many projects are on pipelines or about to completion so the india on wednesday december 22 successfully conducted the maiden flight test of indigenously developed surface to surface missile called the proloy off the coast of the odisha coast from apj abdul kalam island so wh- what is the surface to surface missile that we will going to discuss then answer is the it means it can be launched from the canister based vehicle to ship to destroy the ship or it can be launched from any navy ship especially the destroyer or any other ships that can carry these missiles to any land target the proa is an quasi ballistic missiles with range of 150 km to 500 km obviously the range is far more than this but the government do not want to disclose this range to the world because it is our national security and the test was successfully done with high degree of accuracy validations the controls and the guidance and the missiles algorithms these missiles is far better than the age old srbms short range ballistic missiles which is prithvi prithvi was our first srbm and this missile is very old and not equipped with an advanced technologies that is why the replacement is required and that missile is, was developed in the 1980s the prithvi is a very heavy missile too with a liquid propellant motor but the proloy is powered by the solid propellant rocket motor and it is not that heavy the prithvi is it is quite lighter and it can be moved anywhere without having any hedges so that is why the movement of this missiles is also easy so that <clears throat> that is the reasons the india came up with a new isi is called the proloy and the and the proloy missile project was sanctioned in 2015 and is derivatives of the prohar missile program which was first tested in 2011 and now we will going to discuss about the what is the quasi ballistic missiles that i have already said the proloy is an quasi ballistic missiles and we will going to discuss about what is quasi ballistic missiles and what is the difference between the quasi ballistic missiles and the ballistic missiles a ballistic missile follows a ballistic trajectory to deliver one or the more warheads or predetermined on a predetermined targets predetermined means target has to be fixed before you shoot the rockets those weapons are guided only during the relative relative relatively brief periods most of the flights is 
un underpowered, unpowered. And these weapons are distinct category from the cruise missiles, which are aerodynamically guided in the powered flights. And what is the quasi-ballistic missile? Quasi-ballistic missiles is quite differ from ballistic missiles. A quasi-ballistic missiles is also called the semi-ballistic missiles, including the anti-ship missiles that has a low trajectory or is large ballistic but can perform the maneuvers in the flight or make unexpected changes in the direct directions and the ranges. It can change its directions. It can maneuver. So, but the ballistic missile cannot maneuver. The target has to be fixed. But for the quasi-ballistic missiles, target can be changed in his way to hit the targets. Maybe change from to hit the other targets. And that means it can dodge the surface-to-air missile radar system. So, these missiles is more agile than the ballistics and more accurate. And, and, and for the proloy, the proloy attain the high accuracy only plus minus 10 meters. And one example of the quasi-ballistic missiles is the Russian Iskandar is a quasi-ballistic missile, and which is a very good missile. And our next question about this topic is the important one is that why is India going for the proloy missile? Well, India already have the Brahmos missiles. India already have the so many others missiles. So why India is investing in the proloy missile? Because the Brahmos is not a ballistic missile. It is a cruise missile. Ballistics, quasi-ballistics and the cruise, they are the three different missiles. It's wire rate capacity. For the cruise, wire rate capacity is only 200 kg, which is very less comparisons to the ballistic missile. The ballistic missile can carry the huge amounts of uh, amounts of wire rate. Quasi-ballistics is quite lower than the ballistics one. But they are also capable of the MIRV. They can carry the multiple warheads for the ballistics and the quasi-ballistics. But for the cruise, they can't carry. But the proloy is in semi-ballistics with a high accuracy. That is why the proloy came into an light. And the high capacity of carrying the warheads, also the maneuverable, and the guided by the GPS or the Navic systems. So use of the Brahmos is, is, is in the different warfare. And the proloy is a different warfare game. So they cannot be used for the similar purpose. And their costs are also different. Brahmos is a supersonic missile. But proloy is not a supersonic one. Proloy is a ballistic one, semi-ballistic. So we have to understand the, what is the difference between the cruise missile and the ballistic missiles. And, and in my next topic, I will going to discuss about what is cruise missile and what is the ballistic missile. In the conclusions, I can say, say someone can wonder why India testing so many different kinds of missiles. Why? What is the reason behind the testing that much of missiles? Because we are surrounded by the two hostile nations. One is Pakistan and another is China. China is basically the main threat. And they are trying to encircle India through the seas and the, through the lands by their projects called the BRI. Bo <coughs> these, these kind of projects are encircling India. They are encircling the Indian Ocean. They are encircling the Indo-Pacific one. So Indian, Indian resistance is very important for the world. India has to contain the China for the sake of the world. China thought they will the Indian resistance will be a cakewalk for them. But they understood that what the Indian army actually is. That is why they lost the battle of the Galwan. And they has to retreat from the Doklam. Which is in the Bhutan. And India has to protect its own democratic value. Its land cannot be captured. Because India is one of the peaceful nations on earth. India never attacked any nations. So they are attacking and we will not, not going to do anything. This, this will not going to happen. India has to protect its democratic value, its own sovereignty from the colonial mindset Chinese. And India have to move forward. India have to move forward with its policies. And now the questions, we reach the questionnaire part. And today's question is India's first nuclear program started by whom and which year? The options are first is Homi Jahangir Bhava, year 1944. 
सेकेंड इज पी के आयंगर 1944, थर्ड इज ऑल्सो होमी जहांगीर भाभा 1952, फोर्थ इज पी के आयंगर 1952, फिफ्थ इज राजा गोपाल चिदम्बरम इन 1950. इफ एनी वन हैव एन एनी क्वेश्चन रिगार्डिंग दिस टॉपिक प्लीज यू कैन मेल मी थैंक यू वेरी मच एंड थैंक यू फॉर योर अटेंशन